everlasting gospel rings I see the priests and kings The redeemed of the Lord The everlasting gospel rings I see the priests and kings The redeemed of the Lord Singing, the redeemed of the Lord now stand. Those who follow the Lamb, undefiled by man, out of Zion. The everlasting gospel rings. I see the priests and kings, the redeemed of the Lord. The everlasting gospel reigns I see the priests and kings The redeemed of Lord Well now I, I hear singing The redeemed of the Lord now stand Those who follow the Lamb The everlasting gospel rings I see the priest and kings The redeemed of the Lord The everlasting gospel rings I see the priests and kings The redeemed of the Lord Sing it now, oh I hear sing the redeemed of the Lord now stand Those who follow the Lamb Undefiled by man Out of Zion The everlasting gospel rings I see the priests and kings The redeemed of the Lord The everlasting gospel rings I see the priests and kings, the redeemed of the Lord. Sing it again. Well, now I, I hear sing. Do you hear it today? The redeemed of the Lord now stand. Those who follow the Lamb, undefiled by man, out of Zion. The everlasting gospel rings I see the priests and kings The redeemed of the Lord The everlasting gospel rings I see the priests and kings The redeemed of the Lord Amen, hallelujah, hallelujah Yea, Lord, we hear it. Hallelujah. The sound of the resurrection, the mighty priests and kings of God standing upon their feet. Hallelujah. And bringing the kingdom of God into this dimension of the earthly realm. Hallelujah. Manifesting it in the midst of a dying world. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. And it's giving life unto them. New hope. New beginnings. I feel that very strong tonight. New beginnings. Hallelujah. Turn the page. Forget the past. Look ahead. Hallelujah. Look unto God. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Great things are starting to appear to us and manifest themselves. And this is the day to keep your eyes wide open in the Lord, your ears wide open unto his voice, so that he can speak and move amongst us as he desires. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glad to have everybody tonight. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's a mighty thing that God is doing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to need your songbook also, if you sure. don't mind. No. Let's turn to that other page right there, because this song is number 38, okay. and it Sorry. continues on the oh, other I page. See. Okay, got it. Otherwise, I won't, I won't, uh, I'll be doing uh, watermelon, watermelon, watermelon. <laughs> 
There you go, dear. Okay. There and there. Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> I don't know if you know this one, no. but uh, you'll know it. The mystery's finished. He said it is done. Come blow the trumpet, all ye created sons. For the nations are waiting his life to receive. With love and rejoicing, blow the trumpet with me. I wish Charlie Ryan was here, Brother Gary. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the mist. I'm sorry, I may be Dean. The mystery is finished, he said it is done. Come blow the trumpet, all ye created sons. Did I go back to G? I don't care. Let's try one more time. <laughs> Evidently, the mystery isn't completely finished. <laughs> The mystery is finished, he said it is done. Come blow the trumpet, all ye created sons. For the nations are waiting his life to receive. With love and rejoicing, blow the trumpet with me. With one voice proclaiming his life through the land saying great is our father and the christ who is at hand the price he has paid reconciling all you see so come all ye sons blow the trumpet with me his army now rises, his breath has made us one. We're bone of his bone, fitly joined, now here we come. To conquer all death, setting all mankind free. Oh, stand on your feet, come blow the trumpet with me. The mystery is finished, he said, it is done. Come blow the trumpet, all ye created sons. For the nations are waiting his life to receive. With love and rejoicing, blow the trumpet with me. With one voice proclaiming his life through the land saying great is our father and the christ who is at hand the price he has paid reconciling all you see so come all ye sons blow the trumpet with me his army has made us one bone of his bone fitly join now here we come to conquer all death setting all mankind free so stand on your feet and blow the trumpet with me sing it again the mystery is finished he said it is done come blow the trumpet all ye created sons for the nations are waiting his life to receive with love and rejoicing blow the trumpet with me with one voice proclaiming his life through the land saying great is our father and the christ who is at hand the price he has paid reconciling all you see so come all ye sons blow the trumpet with me his army now rises his breath 
has made us one We're bone of his bone Fitly joined now here we come To conquer all death Setting old mankind free So stand on your feet And blow the trumpet with me His army now rises His breath has made us one We're bone of his bone Fitly joined now here we come To conquer all death Setting out mankind free So stand on your feet and Blow the trumpet with me So stand on your feet and Blow the trumpet with me Oh hallelujah what a word in that song. Boy, I tell you, you could preach right out of that song. It's got uh, uh, so much jammed within it. Uh, we're blowing a trumpet. Um, and that trumpet is uh, one of the trumpets of the, uh, the seventh trumpet that I believe to be a corporate trumpet, not just one trumpet but a series of trumpets that, that actually uh, join themselves together as it goes along. You know, in, there's a, in the scripture there is an age, and then there is ages, and then there are ages of an age, an age that has ages within it. And that is the way I see the trumpets. We're blowing a trumpet, and I, I, I don't know, everybody has their own way of, of looking at it. I believe that um, the trumpets uh, started uh, for us uh, in the uh, 1800s. And I believe that was such an age of enlightenment yes. in the natural world and you know, whenever it happens in the natural world, it starts to happen in the spiritual world. Amen. So that was such a, an age of enlightenment in the 1800s. That's when really uh, the gospel of the universal salvation for all men started to really find its voice. Uh, early America, in fact, uh, in the 1700s was filled with uh, the message of uh, the reconciliation of all men everywhere. Amen. And they called it universalism. Yeah. But uh, uh, don't let that uh, get you off because what they're calling today universalism is not the true, pure message of universalism. Amen. It turned into a, a, uh, uh, into a joining of some of those that were way off with universalism, they joined themselves with the unity people and got swallowed up into that. And that's where they, they give honor to every God. They give honor to every religion. Wow. They give equal uh, uh, importance to everything. And, and Jesus was uh, totally just uh, another man. Uh, but the, the early universalists were those that were really uh, starting to minister and write on. And, you know, the boat journeys uh, from England and other parts of the country to America, uh, that was a, a long ways. Yes. I don't know the exact timing that it would have been, but uh, I believe it was uh, at least a month maybe more and and so to entertain themselves uh they would have um uh religious meetings uh in on the ship and they had some very distinguished people traveling in those uh boats coming over back and forth from america over to uh, overseas and it was during that time that they would debate and that they would l allow everybody to give their point of view and uh, the Universalists 
uh, really were well known at that time for being able to uh, defend their message by the scriptures. And uh, they, they influenced many, many people yeah. with that. And, uh, uh, but you had the Dunkers, which were at that time Baptists, but they actually called them Dunkers. Uh, you had the Episcopalians, you had all of these other religions, but the Universalists were really so uh, scholarly uh, because if you're going to be persecuted, you better know what you're talking about, right? <laughs> yeah, I learned that in my first year of coming into this message. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Boy, boy, I had some meetings closed on me, and I had people uh, uh, that were, uh, what's the word, uh, challenging me. And uh, I found out right, right quick, I better start knowing what I'm talking about instead of just repeating somebody else and get some chapter verse going here. But, uh, but that's the way that was in that age of enlightenment. I believe that's when the real trumpet started sounding in the earth. This message of, the, of, the, uh, of reconciliation, of life and immortality and all of that was, uh, was being revealed in that day. And I've said this before, but universalism became actually a denomination. And it was the fifth largest denomination in the world. So uh, they were very missionary minded and for a lot of people get an idea that somehow or another we just came up with this thing. Right. Uh, and uh, uh, you know the movie Roots, uh, that gave uh, um, uh, the, uh, the uh, African Americans an ability to say, see this is where we came from. This is our history. This is our roots. We were in our own land. Amen. And we were brought over into this strange land. But our roots go back into Africa. Uh, and, uh, and universalism or reconciliation has roots. It goes all the way back to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, uh, and, and the early church... Uh, was a great, uh, it was in the early church. The message came all the way from there, all the way through. And it's been in every age, but the seven, late 1700s yes. and the 1800s, all the way up to early 1900s, were a, was a great trumpet blowing in the land. Amen. And people were opening up their hearts unto God. And they were realizing that the fundamental church wasn't really uh, ministering what the scriptures actually said. Uh, but, but we now, at this present day, uh, are at the tail end of all of that. And we are starting to, this trumpet, uh, you know, in the, in the camp of Israel, uh, the trumpet of the Lord, in one instance, I can't remember what it was, but you were given signals by trumpets to gather to, to the meeting house, tabernacle, uh, uh, to just have the princes, the leaders, to come of every uh, tribe, to come to gather themselves, or for everybody to come to the gathering. But there was a time when the trumpet of the Lord started to sound, and it started to increase in volume, and increase louder, and louder and louder until they couldn't hardly bear the sound of it because it was, it was blowing in such a, uh, a manner that it, that it did, you, there was no way that you could deny it, that you could uh, ignore it, I'll say, hallelujah. And I'm feeling that way today. There's a sound coming out, not just a word, a sound. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And that's what I pray for, Dennis, Amen. is that our word will always have a sound yes. to it. Right. That, that our, uh, the, the, um, as everybody knows, my voice isn't going to go beyond these walls, my physical voice. Right. It's going to end in this house. And, uh, but the sound behind our voice, there is a sound that goes into all the earth, hallelujah. The word that we are ministering tonight is going to be wonderful. 
through the miracle of technology, we're able to have our voices broadcast around the world, but that's not enough just for you to hear our words. There's a sound that your inner man is groaning to hear. Hallelujah. It's the sound of the resurrection. It's the sound of life. Glory to God. And it's the voice that you know already. Everyone in the earth that ever has been or ever will be has heard this voice before. It's an ancient uh, 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 memory within them. And that memory is that it was the voice of the Father when they were yet in God before the foundations of the world. Hallelujah. They had heard that voice before. Glory to God. The voice that said, let us create man in our own image and in our own likeness. Uh, Let there be light. Uh, uh, The Elohim that was gathered around at that time, it was spoken into their ears and into their hearts. They've heard it before. And now today, this sound of the trumpet is going into all of the earth. Hallelujah. And God is going to start gathering his first fruits from all the four corners of the world. Glory to God. You do know that the first fruits are not Americans. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The first fruits isn't white people either hallelujah the first fruits are the chosen of the lord out of every kind of creature in the earth hallelujah that is the first fruit glory to god and god has a first of those first fruits that are calling unto them and saying come unto me glory to god and i love what this song says hallelujah where it says uh uh for the nations are waiting His life to receive. (laughs) Hallelujah. Blow this trumpet with me. With love and rejoicing. Blow the trumpet with me. Hallelujah. They're waiting for it. Glory to God. We're already hearing from those in other countries that's joining under this broadcast. And they're full of the word of the Lord. They're full of the truth. Hallelujah. And And they're in another land. Glory to God. But we're meeting them in the air. Amen. In the spirit, in the breath of God. Hallelujah. We are meeting them in a higher place. Glory to God. And we are set down together with them. Hallelujah. In heavenly places. Glory to God. It's real. Hallelujah. It's real. So don't let us just sit nonchalantly and think this is just us doing our thing. There is a trumpet blowing tonight. Hallelujah. And through this whole weekend, a trumpet is blowing. Hallelujah. With one voice, everybody say one voice, voice. voice. proclaiming his life through the land, saying, great is our father, our father, not my father, (laughs) not yours, only mine, because I've done all the work, I've done all the things, uh, uh, you know, I've worked in this field all day long. (laughs) And by golly, I'm going to get a big payoff when I'm at the end of this day working in this field. And here comes these people yeah. after us working our fingers to the bone. <laughs> and they're starting to come into this and they're skipping and rejoicing and coming into the glory of the Lord. <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> oh, how's that song say? Uh, I'm a losing weight and turning mighty pale. <laughs> Looks like I got a tiger by the tail. <laughs> and uh, this day is a tiger by the tail, I guarantee you. You know what that means is you don't know whether to let go or hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Trouble is you can't let go. <laughs> if you let go, it might turn and rend you. So all we can do is hang on. <laughs> Hallelujah. But uh, our Father, great is our father hallelujah every man or woman that has been born of a woman is his child no matter what their life is like no matter what their actions are no matter what their uh uh, they can curse them they can do all of that but they are god's children hallelujah you don't become his children when you get saved 
You were his children when you were yet sinners. Hallelujah. And that's why Jesus died for you while you were yet a sinner. Hallelujah. Can you say praise the Lord? Give him a hand tonight. Hallelujah. Our Father. And listen, and the Christ who is at hand. Woo, hallelujah. I feel it right here. I feel it right now. And the kingdom of God is at hand. Hallelujah. The price he has paid. And we said that this morning. He's already paid your entrance fee. The price has be, he has paid reconciling all you see. So come, all you sons, and blow the trumpet with me. Hallelujah. His army now rises. Do you see the army of the Lord? I see them. I see an army of the Lord in the spirit, and they are growing and increasing. God only knows what the number is that he's going to bring into this as the first of the first fruits. I don't know. There's 144,000 number in the Bible, but we all know that's not a a natural number. We all know that that's just representative of a Sanhedrin uh, government and council made up of kings and priests. We all know that's a governmental authority number where they are just like the lamb. Hallelujah. And they are his vanguard. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So that's the army that's rising. His breath has made us one. Jamie, the breath of the Lord has breathed life into you. Hallelujah. And now you are one with everything that God is doing in the people of God. Hallelujah. There once was a time when you were a a foreigner from the faith, when you had wandered off the path, but now God has breathed his life into you a year ago. Hallelujah. And God has kept you by the power of his grace and love, and now you are made one. And guess what? I need that same breath. Glory to God. His breath, his, his respiratory breath has made us one bone of his bone. And I like this, fitly joined. That's what's happened this weekend in what God has been having us do here. He's fitly joining those who have a destiny within them, a choosing of the Lord, a holy, holy calling of God that are, that are to be joined together as one, his breath making us one. Hallelujah. But God has to fitly join us together. We can't pick and choose. Uh, everybody I, uh, I've ever choosed, I thought, well, hey, they're going to be the ones. Uh, they stuck a knife right in my back. <laughs> oh, uh, take the knife out before you go, please. Uh, and uh, we can't choose and think this one or that one. Samuel couldn't. Who, who, why would we think that we could? Amen. It's God joining a people together. Do you think there's more of us? I hope you do. There's more of us out there. Amen. I hope it's not just you and I. We're going to get sick of each other after a while. But this, uh, there's, this, is the, uh, this is the early beginnings of God bringing a people who are, who are not afraid to die. Amen. Glory. Who, who have no fear of death. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. If we have any fear of losing our life, I pray to God tonight that he will remove that from us. What we need at that moment is to see what his life is like. To understand what it means to lose our life and gain his life. Hallelujah. And I'm looking with joy for that day to be accomplished in me. With joy. Hallelujah. Because I'm sick of my flesh. I'm sick of my carnal mind trying to steal the thoughts of God. I'm sick and tired. And we talked about that, I think, Thursday night. I'm sick and tired of of us uh, having to, uh, like, well, it's like what Paul wrote about. He said, now, um, what I would do, I don't do it. What I don't want to do, I find myself doing it. Uh, and, and when I would try to do good, evil's always there. 
uh, I'm, I'm failing at everything I'm trying to do. Uh, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's, but yet he said, it's not me. It's the dead me. <laughs> In the old uh, Roman army days back then, that's where that came from, uh, the scholars believe. That's what it was talking about, is that, and they had some pretty sadistic things that they came up with in order to give people a hard death. And one of those things was where they took a dead body and chained it to a live body. Amen. And the putrefication of the dead body would work its way into the live body and make it sick until it died. Yes. And that's what Paul was referring to. Yes. It's not me, it's this dead thing that's tied to me. Yes. It's doing those things, but I am not doing those things. Yes. And, and that's, the, uh, that's the big thing I think people wrestle with. How can I have these kind of thoughts? How can I do these things and yet I love God? But that's where death and life are joined together. Something has to die in order for something to come alive. Amen. Hallelujah. In order for a new beginning, you have to have an old ending. Amen. Glory to God. How many is ready for it? Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Fitly joined, now here we come. Ready or not, hallelujah, wanting it or not, amen, whether they want us or not, we're coming, hallelujah, and, and we are an army, and we have a message in us, we have a sound in us, glory to God, and there's nothing that's going to be able to keep this from happening, hallelujah, I heard that sure word out of Dennis this morning, glory to God, God is going to manifest you, hallelujah, God is going to do these things in every one of us, because it's God doing it, not us, glory, and he's, and he's never failed at doing what he wants to do, it's a sure thing. So stand on your feet. Oh, I'm sorry. Fitly joined. Now here we come to conquer all death. Do you know there's more than one kind of death? Amen. There's what we call the grave being death. And in all actuality, it's not death. It's the result of death working in us. But the grave itself is just a changing room. Hallelujah. It's a transition realm. You're, you're not in that grave staying there sleeping inside that dead body. Hallelujah. That is a changing room. That's where you take off your old garment and put on a new one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that has been conquered by Jesus. Before Jesus, the, the old, in the Old Testament, they were in the grave. Shale. The grave. Jesus went to that place, the place of the dead, yeah. and he preached the everlasting gospel to them. Hallelujah. When he, when he uh, gave up the ghost and, uh, on the cross and they put his body in the tomb, and then in those three days, Jesus was preaching to all men up unto Adam. Hallelujah. And bringing them out of that shell. Hallelujah. And delivering them from that. And listen, he's not going to do that again for us because he conquered the grave hallelujah he rose again can you say amen he came out of that grave and that grave is never more gonna keep people in it hallelujah Woo! i love him today i love him today hallelujah glory to god in the highest hallelujah conquering all death you've been dying since you were born Death has been a part of your life since you were born. 
You were born to die according to that natural uh, uh, um, uh, genetic code that God put within the cells of your body that you were going to live a certain amount of years and your years were going to end. And there's a limit on those years. Hallelujah. You're gonna, not going to see anyone anymore live like, Mel, uh, like um, Methuselah, Methuselah uh, or, or, uh, or any of those others. Adam himself lived 900 years. Uh, you're not going to see that again because God put a, li a limit on that. And, and, so, uh, and that was through love. That was through love. Yes. The grave is the transition from this life into another life. And that is the blessing of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So it's not that we're go not going to go to the grave. That's the big deal. It is that death is no more in us. Hallelujah. That death has been swallowed up into life. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. And death has no more power over us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're alive forevermore. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Conquer all death, setting all mankind free. As you know, we're going to sing this again. So stand on your feet. Don't you sit in this day. You don't have to physically stand on your feet. I'm talking about you spiritually. Amen. Stand up in God. Hallelujah. Amen. Gary's got a little mark on his chin here. He cut himself shaving. And he said, she said to uh, shut up. And I thought she said, stand up. <laughs> 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we, are, we, we have to stand up. How many saw Dances with Wolf? Yes. You remember what her name was? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to explain to Dumb Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Stands with fist. That's, me, that's you and that's me, folks. Yeah, that's what we are in God. Amen. We stand with a fist. Amen. We are conquerors. You're warriors. Don't stay, stay true to your lineage. You were born of priests and kings and warriors Amen. and prophets. Hallelujah. And they are in your bloodstream of your spirit. Hallelujah. You are the lineage of all of that. Amen. Glory to God. And it's time for us to stand on our feet and blow that trumpet. Hallelujah. Can you say amen? amen? The mystery is finished, he said. It is done. Come blow the trumpet, all ye created sons. For the nations are waiting his life to receive. With love and rejoicing, blow the trumpet. With one voice proclaiming his life through the land, saying, Great is our Father, and the Christ who is at hand. The price he has paid, reconciling all you see. So come, all ye sons, and blow the trumpet with me. His One. We're bone of his bone, fitly joined, now here we come To conquer all death, setting all mankind free So stand on your feet and blow the trumpet with me Come on! The mystery is finished, he said, it is done Trumpet, all you created sons, for the nations are waiting his life to receive. 
with love and rejoicing blow the trumpet with me with one voice proclaiming his life through the land saying great is our father and the Christ who is at hand the price he has paid reconciling all you see so come all you sons blow the trumpet with me come on army his army now rises his breath has made us one yes we're bone of this bone fiddly join now here we come to conquer all death setting all mankind free so stand Grant it to be so, Lord. Hallelujah. <coughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. This is who we are. This is who we are. This people, this nation of God. <coughs> Glory. And, 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 and this is where we will... Uh, see the Lord start to manifest his glory in us and through us. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, number 35. You can't get away from death. You just can't. It's an enemy, but it's a necessary enemy. enemy. That sounds strange, right? But it's a necessary enemy. And it's an enemy against our, uh, our natural sense of things because we're afraid of it. We don't know how to get around it. I hope no one believes in, um, in immortality and life because they don't want to go by the way of the grave. That's the wrong yeah. way to look at it. Amen. That's the, w the wrong way to try to believe in something as an escape yeah. because one way or the other, it's appointed unto man once, once to die. Yeah. And you're either going to die by your body uh, going into a state of... Uh, of uh, incapac uh, in, in um, into a state of, of no longer functioning, and you lay that body down, and you go to a grave, or we will die standing up. Hallelujah! We are going to die. And so the beginning of this song, I saw his face. I live no more. Amen. I love it. Uh, before we sing that, I know Bobby Jean knows this one. Mm. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. What a mystery. Yet not I. It's Christ who's living in me. I'm alive in God, crucified with Christ, but never. I live yet not I oh yet not I but it's Christ who lives in me yes Lord 
Don't you love the word? Don't you just love how God spells it out for us? Oh my God. I'm alive and yet I'm dead. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. And uh, I, I, uh, I love that uh, crucified with Christ never the less. I love that. Nevertheless. That's not the end of the story. <laughs> Glory to God. That's not all that we have to say about that thing. Hallelujah. I am crucified and I have died in, in God, uh, but I am alive in him through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. My body's going to die unless something happens to it. Unless something changes in it unless the cells of my body start to transfigure themselves, unless the Lord himself in the smallest participle of my being, of my physical body, unless there starts to come forth a life that is going to swallow up that limited uh, curse on my body, then I am going to go by the way of the grave. But I am, as I say, still a candidate. Glory to God, because I'm drawing breath. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. And, and, and I may be old uh, and, and, and long in the tooth in my estimation, uh, but you know what? That doesn't mean a thing in, the, in this thing that we're talking about. Amen. Glory. Amen. It is a supernatural event. It is a God event. Hallelujah. And it's going to happen. Glory to the Lord. There's going to be a people who are not going to, to uh, corrupt this body to the point of death. There is going to come forth up out of this body a leaven of the life of Christ. Hallelujah. Now our body has been leavened with Adam and his death. Leavened. And it has worked its way all through our body into every cell. And Jesus is in us also, and there is going to become a leavening of our body with the life of Jesus Christ. Amen. If the leaven of Adam is able to do that, what do you think the leaven of Jesus is able to do? Hallelujah. Amen. Disannul. Right. Amen. <laughs> Break agreement with it. Amen. Hallelujah. Disannul your covenant with death. Yes. And disannul your agreement with hell. Hallelujah. Yes. 
Oh my God, I feel this, Dennis. Hallelujah. This is where we are starting to enter into this realm where we can talk freely about this and not stupidly like they did in days gone by, but really with the truth of the Lord and with the balance of the spirit within us. Hallelujah. That bow of covenant with that arrow of... uh, the will. the will, hallelujah, the mercy and the and, and and the judgment of God, all of these things that have counterparts that balance and meet each other, and 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 they unite themselves together. You know when uh, uh, chlor- uh, uh, salt uh, is made up of two poisons, table salt, and and uh, but by them joining together. They're, they're what the scripture says, you are the salt of the earth. Amen. Glory to God. They're, they're a blessing, right. not death, glory. Yeah. And everything in God has a counterpart and God's bringing things together and, 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 and changing their properties. Mm-hmm. Oh, hallelujah. Woo, glory. You know, I quit looking at the devil as a, something that I had to avoid or that I would have to fight all the days of my life. Amen. Uh, I, I have de- defeated him. He's running around with no feet. <laughs> he can't even catch up to me. <laughs> but by that I mean that uh, he has a purpose. He, he is called in the scriptures our adversary. Our adversary. So there's a purpose to everything that God has created. Everything yes. has purpose in it. And all that he's doing is exercising us right. in our spiritual walk. God has given him the power to do that. Yes, uh, God agreed to that Amen. for him to be the one that was to test the saints. But he has limited him. He is not a free agent. He is not able to do anything he wants. He's not able to get involved with anything that God doesn't give him the okay. That's actually what Jesus said to, to Peter. He said, Satan has uh, um, desired to sift you. What that means in the original language is Satan has gotten... Uh, has requested permission Mm -hmm. to sift you. He couldn't just enter into that at all. He had to obtain permission in order to try him. So um, let's quit uh, running from the devil and trying to, trying to, you know, slap him upside the head with the Bible and all that. (laughs) And let's just put him in his place. Do you think you have the authority to do that, Gary? I think so. <laughs> you don't know? <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> you are Beelzebub. No. <laughs> but uh, let's put him in his place. Amen. I think we can do that. Yes. I believe we absolutely can do that. Amen. Uh, don't let him be the terror of your night. Amen. Whew, Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are sanctified unto God. Meaning, you're as holy and sacred unto God as any of the elements of the tabernacle that Gary's teaching about on Saturday nights. You're just as holy unto God and, and, and uh, anointed unto him as any of that in the, in the Old Testament tabernacle. And, and, uh, and he is not going to, he has sanctified you unto himself. That simply means nothing comes your way unless God has allowed it. Amen. Quit thinking the devil's got power over you to come yes. in anytime he wants and just ravage your land. He does not. Amen. He can only do what God allows him to do. And no more. Amen. Hallelujah. And so we're, gonna, we're, we're going to uh, allow God to be God. Was I in G with that or where was I, Gary? 
I saw his face I live no more His life came forth My life to restore Number 35 Because of his grace I found my place And I saw his face Face. Man cannot see his face and live. Your life you must lose that his you may give. Oh, marvelous grace, each man in his place. They see his face When they see his face Listen to this Nations shall come To him they shall bow Through his gates of praise Salvation is now his chosen seed is what the world needs. They will see his face. Oh, yes, they will. Face. They will see his face. I saw his face. I live no more. His life came forth, my life to restore, because of His grace, I found my place, then I saw His face, then I saw His face. Cannot see his face and live. Your life you must lose that his you may give. Oh, marvelous grace, each man in his place when they see his face. Don't you love the Lord? Nations shall come. Yes, they will. To him they shall bow. Yes, Lord. Through his gates of praise, salvation is now. His chosen seed is what the world needs. They will see His face. They will see His face. Come on, sing it again that way. The nation shall come. To Him they shall bow. Every knee, hallelujah. Through His gates of praise, salvation is now. His chosen seed is what the world needs. Oh, my God, my God. They will see His face. They will see His face. Oh, I've got to sing it again. I saw His face. Yes, I did. And I live no more, no more. Shut it up, up his life came forth, my life to restore, because of His grace, yes, I found my place, and 
I saw his face Then I saw his face Man cannot see His face and live Your life you must lose That his you may give Oh, marvelous grace, marvelous, each man in his place, when they see his face, when they see his face, oh, for nations shall come, to him they shall bow. Oh, Lord, through his gates of praise, salvation is now. His chosen seed is what the world needs. Oh, amen. They will see his face. They will see his face. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, oh, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Holy, holy, wonderful. We adore you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. Shanda do nama shanda. Do you see the interplay in that? Do you have a book and can you see it in front of you? Can you see the interplay? That's all I was saying this morning. Jesus isn't going to do anything unless it's through yes. you. Yes. Hallelujah. That's his will. Yes, it is. He did all Amen. that was required of him. Amen. He fulfilled the word concerning him. And when he did, and he rose out of the sight of the disciples... He began a people in the earth through the upper room experience. Amen. He came into them and he embodied them. He tabernacled with them. Yes. And the early church was the, the um, uh, what is it when the rocket, uh, the launch, the launch yes. of the next uh, three days after himself. But God has always raised up a people and filled their mouth with his word. Amen. That's why you read a scripture like the one that says, as he is, so, even so, are we in this earth. You have to know you are on that, that uh, mark for him to have marked you and said, I'm... I'm going to have to do what I need to do in you because you need to be my voice. You need to be the uh, mouthpiece for my voice. Your hand's going to be stretched out. And that, that uh, how Dennis said that where the, the hand went upon the other hand. Yes. Yes. And the, the one with them uh, stretch the bow back uh, with him. Amen. But it wasn't just one man. Right. Hallelujah. That's right. And that's the way God is in this day. That's why uh, there's a lot on our shoulders, but God's going to do it all. Amen. But you know, it's a, it, it, it's, it's a, it, that when, when the scripture says labor to enter into his rest, that's exactly what it means. Yeah. It's, it's easier said than done. Right. 
to just say, well, Lord, you do it. You're going to do it, so I'll just relax over here. Uh, in order for him to do it, we have to come into a rest. We can't be fighting him. Yes. I want to go here, Lord. No, I want you to go over there. No, well, really, I, I feel like I have a better idea. <laughs> he can't be putting up with that all the time. He's got to have a people who are instant. Yes. yes. In season and out of season. Yes. Do you know we're starting to become that? Yes. Whether we see it ourselves or not, we are starting to yield to the Lord in a greater way, in a, not a greater way, yield to the Lord more quickly. Yes. Yes. We're, we're not fighting him as much. Uh, I just know that in the spirit. Uh, we're not resisting as much as we used to resist. The working of the Lord is, is, is bringing forth fruit. Yes. You're not who you were 10 years ago. You're not as stubborn as you were 10 years ago, except Gary. <laughs> but you have come a long ways. And everything that God has had you in the experience of your life has been meant to bring you to that place of, of complete surrender and obedience to everything that the Lord says. And to trust in Him and not go crazy with panic when something like a pandemic comes along. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 But to stand still and see the salvation of your God. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, we are going to stand in the holy place until all of this indignation is passed over us. There is a secret place of the Most High God. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Secret place of the Most High God. And you don't go there to run and hide. You go there to stand in the holy place with an authority. Amen. Hallelujah. To join yourself to the host. Hallelujah. There are some things that are happening out of the heavens that we're joining ourselves with. Glory to God. I, I enjoy you all so much in the natural. You're my friends and you're my, uh, my loved ones. Uh, and I'm so glad to be here with you in the, uh, just to see you uh, in, 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 in the flesh. But that's really not the gathering. Amen. The gathering is in the spirit. Amen. That's where we come alive. Hallelujah. That's where our voice grows strong and mighty. Glory to God. That's where we're better than we are when we're by ourselves. That is in that gathering place. It's where the eagles gather at. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. That is where uh, all the uh, uh, angels of God have their eyes fastened on to see what God's going to do through a people. Do you know that the angels stand and wonder at you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah, that they desire even in their own heart, I believe, they would they would uh, desire to be you. Hallelujah. Because you are more than an angel. Yes. You're in a higher place in God than an angel is. And the angels are in his presence. Hallelujah. And they are they are they are messengers of him. Well, you are too, but even, even in a greater way than the angels are. It's you that God is after. It's you that he has brought into this world. And it's you that he has baptized into himself. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There's a real uh, heavy spirit in this place. Not, not woe. Not, uh, yeah, woe. Uh, that's what I meant to say. Not mourning, but woe. And, and, and I feel a woe. Because we have to stay in the face of God and we'll sing some more. I don't know what God's going to do. I have no agenda. But we're going to sing words of life. All the songs that the Spirit is speaking to me to sing, there's a message in every one of them. I'm preaching my head off when I'm singing. Amen. Hallelujah. Number 54. I'm just letting the Spirit lead me. Is that okay? 
Build up the waste places Restore paths to dwell in Repair the breach Lift high the standard of Oh, what a word, what a word Blow loud the trumpet Throw wide the gates now The time to favor Jerusalem Restore paths to dwell in. Repair the breach, lift high the standard of our God. Come on, praise Him. waste places in every life in every being unto everyone that is chosen of you Lord I'm asking you to repair the breach within yes. them yes. make them whole again Lord hallelujah we lift up the standard of our God in their being hallelujah this far and no more this far and no more says the Lord hallelujah you're going to be set free you're going free of your prison house you've been abused long enough you're going out of that house of pain and that house of torture and God is going to set your feet in the new Jerusalem there's an order that is being established in all of the earth and it's going to favor Jerusalem again hallelujah the city of God can you say amen amen now, if anyone ever has a word during all of this, you give it out and we'll get you a mic. This is a holy gathering under the Lord. And everybody obey the Lord at any time in whatever God's speaking to you because we are speaking words of life. We do not have an agenda. This is not a church service. This is the gathering of those who have been called to the summit 
to have a summit with the Lord, hallelujah, to counsel with him and him to counsel with us, to endue you with power from on high, to establish you as the voice of God in all of the earth, hallelujah. That is what we're here and that is what God is doing here, hallelujah. Shana na 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 makanda na na mahaya, haraba babahaya. Lo, I looked and I beheld the heavens opened up. Then I heard a voice, the righteous one, he appeared. Oh, just listen to it. Death destroyed And on his head The victor's crown Did rest Do you see it? Now the great I am Comes for his seed To bless Yes, I'll do. I will proclaiming all thou art to man. Walking in thy love, where angels fear to trade. happening right now. Hallelujah. Lifting up that light that now does dwell within. Oh, I look and I Yes, they are. Then I heard a voice, the righteous one. He appeared, death destroyed, glory, and on his head the victor's crown. <laughs> Jesus, now the great I am comes forth this sea to bless. Yes, Lord, I'll do thy will proclaim me, O thou art. Yes, I will, Lord. Walking in thy love, where angels fear to tread. Oh, what a place we have come to. Bringing low those kingdoms built by the calm. with me. Sing this with me. We got to say it. Yes, I'll do. I will proclaiming. Oh, come on, ministry. Come on, ministry. Shonda Rabba Bahaya. 
walking in thy love where angels fear to tread bringing low the kingdom's built by That now does dwell within. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord. Yes, I will, yes, I will, O oh Lord. Show me the way to go, mighty God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord, hallelujah. On da 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 ma san da. O ria da ra ba si o condoro. Fill me with your spirit, O oh Lord. What I see him do fifty three. I will do what I hear him say, I will say, losing my will that the world they Consecration happening tonight. Amen. You're being consecrated by the Holy Ghost and fire into a place in God that I don't know if anyone's ever been consecrated in such a way. And if we're being consecrated, we know others are. But I don't think this is just ordinary consecration. This is a holy thing. Where he leads me, I will go. That where he is, I may be also. They may see as he appears in his glory. Sing it again. What I see him do, I will do. What I hear. 
say, I will say, yes, Lord. Losing my will that the world may see this new. Lay it all down tonight, lay it all down where he leads me. I will go that where he is, I may be also. As he appears, Shakarabaha, in his Shakarabaha, Lord God Almighty, for I yield to you, Lord, Ikarabaha, what I see, oh, him do, I will do. What I hear. This new, yes, and living way Where he leads me, I will go That where he is, I may be Jesus in his glory. Holy, 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 holy Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. Take us, Lord. Yes. Take us into you, Lord. Oh God, take us into your glory. Oh Lord, we want your life, Lord. We want your glory, Lord. Pour your oil upon our heads, yes. Almighty God. Yes, Lord. Pour your oil upon yes. our heads. Yes. Consecrate us. Commission us into you, Lord. Give us a holy commission in you. Send us, Lord. Send us. Here I am, Lord. Send me. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm yours, Lord. Glory to God. Whatever you require, O oh Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us lose our love of our own life. O oh God Almighty. Sharamamahaya. May we not love our own life. Sharamakandahaya. We want your life. Harabasikididiande. Oh, Does anybody have anything to say 
at all, we'll hand you a mic wherever you're at. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bob, I believe as Abraham laid Isaac on the altar, God is requiring us to lay our lives yes. on the altar. Yes, yes. Amen, Lord. That was all, that was Abraham's hope. Yes, yes. His hope. Yes. Was to have that child as his lineage. And his promise. You just can't, we cannot comprehend, I don't believe, when God required of, out of Abraham and told him to take that promise, yes. that hope, yes. and sacrifice it unto God. Amen. Oh God, help us, oh Lord. Yes. That's, that's like us saying to God tonight, which we are, yes. take this ministry yes. that, that I have, yes. and I offer it up unto you, Lord. Yes. Everything that I've ever thought about in myself, yes. about what you were going to do, yes. and what I was going to be, Lord, I offer that all up to you. Yes. Laying it down that I may gain a greater life. Yes. All of our dreams, all of our visions, all of our... Uh, uh, desires for our life folks this is not I can just feel people starting to run away from this word because it's starting to require some things out of us yes. that I'm telling you the average Christian is not going to do Amen. oh my God my God sometimes I, I get to uh, I condemn myself because I think I'm speaking it too hard I'm, I'm saying things that who would want this? Who would want this? And in the natural, nobody would. But this is where God is taking us. And we must be born from above. The things which are above. It's not a church thing. It's not a traditional thing. It's not something that we have done in our past to try to make ourselves feel better about in God. This is about God forming a people who are wholly His. W-H-O-L-L-Y. Holy His. Okay. Can you praise the Lord for what God's doing? Holy his hallelujah without reserve hallelujah and he's going to do that not us he's going to do it but we have to be ready we have to say Lord I want to work with you offer myself to you yes Oh God, Hallelujah! Oh God, My God, I'm telling you, this is a consecration. Everything I'm singing, it's like God is requiring of us to declare these things to Him. To confess to him. Hallelujah. Here I am.
separated me <laughs> from my own lineage and has caused me to be born of your lineage, Lord. I bow my head before you, Lord, and give you glory. Hallelujah. Oh, holy, 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 holy. Oh God. Oh ripa da 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 pakahaya. What kind of a place have you brought us to tonight, Lord? God. Say that again, that please. We Lord, keep saying, remove thy shoes, for you're standing on holy ground. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yes, yes. Holy ground. Oh, God. Just keep repeating it over and over. Ramaranda Yea, Lord. Yea, Lord. The Lord told Joshua to remove his shoes. It changed his direction. Yes. Say it again, brother. You didn't hear it. When, when God met Joshua going into the promised land, he told him to remove his shoes yes. because he was changing his directions. Yes. That's what's happening tonight. Yes. yes. I seen the breath of God come out from him into the people oh. and changing directions. Shara, ma, 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 the whole directions yes. of where we're headed. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You know, Paul was raised up in the midst of a time when he thought he was doing the purpose of God. Yes. And nobody could have convinced him he wasn't. He would kill for it. He was that yes. type of man. Yes. Yes. And I hear him say, you know, we always preach this word at a funeral, but it's not a funeral word. No. There's the last chapter of Corinthians where we talk about mortal and immortal. Right. But Paul was standing in the midst of a corrupt church. Yes. That was saying, I'm a Paul, I'm a Paulus, mm -hmm. and I follow this one, and I follow that one. Yes. And it was like, it wasn't, it, it wasn't a subtle thing that Paul said. It was a necessary thing that Paul said when he said, we must oh, put on. Oh, yes. I mean, yes. that just really speaks to me, Bob. Yes. We must put on incorruption. Yes. In other words, he, 
he was seeing a people that was just saying things and he cried out in the midst of it. To me, it wasn't, it was a cry. Yes. It was a mourn. Yes. We yes. must yes. put on we must. incorruption. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Mortality must be swallowed up by immortality. It's in other command. words, he was a command in that people yes. to say, hey, you're going to have to get out of this style uh, and come uh, uh, into uh, a natural uh, uh, way of life into God. Yes. A change. That's the change I'm seeing. Yes. That's the breath of God that went out tonight. Amen. 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 Absolutely. Uh, and, it's a, uh, and it's like us. It's a must. We're not talking about a teaching, a preaching of a dentist, of a right. Bob or whoever. Right. It ain't, it's a crying out to creation. Yes. And saying we must be about the Father's business. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Shout out to my heart. Second, Sarah, why don't you come and sit on the couch so you're in this. I feel there's something about this circle right here. Yeah. And so we can pass the mic around. This is not going to be an ordinary service. It isn't. It just isn't. God's going to do some things different here, and we need to be willing to fit in with it and just let God speak through whoever, yes. whatever, Amen. and uh, what, what, what the different ones are feeling in their spirit. Yes. Amen. It's a counseling word. Yes. Hallelujah. When y'all were talking... Judges chapter 7 came to me. And when you said, you know, who's going to do this? Well, in Judges chapter 7, it, he said, who, you know, there was 32,000. And if you go down to chapter 8, you'll see that wasn't all of Israel. But 32,000 right. out of Israel, they, they said, okay, they'd go. Yes. And they said, okay, the first challenge was, are you afraid? If you're afraid, go home. Amen. Right. <laughs> Twenty-two thousand went home. Amen. And then the next one was he took them down to the brook, yes. and I read that over and over because I, you know, they that lapped like a dog, and I thought yes. for sure they weren't. But then the Lord showed me as I read, they were the ones that knelt down, and they brought the water to themselves. The others, they just were in it for what they. For them. The rest of them yes. were, they brought the water and they laughed like a dog. They were watching. Yes. And it was those 300, the watchmen, yes. those that wasn't in it just for themselves, but they were going to watch. Yes. Those were the ones. Amen. So, I, yes, the word says that there's not many mighty, not. You know, Hallelujah. not everybody's going to go. Amen. Not everybody's going to choose. Amen. Those that are Amen. afraid are going to go home. Those that Amen. are in it for themselves are not going to go. But those that are yes. totally sold out to yes. God, those are the ones. Yes. Those are the ones that God has chosen. Yes. And those are the ones that God has put in them that never quit. Yes. Oh, God, Amen. help us, Lord. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. Amen. And we're going, we're, we, are, we are going to, uh, I really feel tonight, there's been some little, whatever's remained in us, fear, yes. dread. Thank you, God. Uh, maybe there's an easier way. Yeah, <laughs> there definitely is an easier uh, way. Maybe God will let me go do my thing. <laughs> yes. I'm telling you right now, you just can't do it. No. no. God's not going to let any of us do Thank our you, own Jesus. thing. Everything we do has got to be about this. Yes. yes. Don't see any other way. No. Amen. This is this is the death of something yes. here tonight. Yes. Things are dying. Amen. Left and right. Thank you, God. Within us. They're dying and they shall not rise again. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Anyone else? While down in Florida, I haven't been battling with the COVID issues. I was battling with God because he showed me the price that we all have to pay for this. Oh, God. The cost. And uh, I've known it. I've seen it. I've seen others walking it out. And you sing that song and you commit, you recommit. Mm. But finally, he was like, I'm at the deepest part of you, mm -hmm. and now give me that. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and I was battling with that. Hallelujah. My, my vestiges of flesh that was left was Hallelujah. battling for 
a couple months and it was torture it was hell yes mm. and one day i got up and was crying out to god and i said god what do you want us to do what is our ministry what's yes. next you know yes. and just calling out to him and before i could even finish it he said heal my people yes and i said but god how do i heal the people i don't have the gift of healing in my hands what is it that's within you know what what do i have i don't see or know i have anything that could heal your people and he didn't answer me but we called gary or he called us and we were just talking and i was talking to him about it and he said it's because he has put something in you that he's going to call forth at the appointed time and he knows it's there yes. so he's already issuing the edict of you to heal the people Amen. and so I spilled all my guts to Gary and told him all about my battle and everything. And he was the only one besides Russ who knew about it. And then one day I called Sheila and was just broken and was speaking with her. And no, I didn't, I didn't spill my guts to Gary. I'm sorry. I spilled them to Sheila <laughs> on Thursday. And then Gary got up Saturday and was teaching and he started answering yeah. through the teaching, not knowing. But through the teaching, started answering right. my cry, answering my questions. Sunday morning, finished it off. That last Sunday, that was right. just you and, and Gary. And if anybody hasn't seen that one, it was a couple Sundays ago. I, I encourage you. It's only 35 Amen. minutes long, but it is so powerful. <laughs> Amen. It will drive you back in your seat. It was like a spear pierced my very core of my being. Yes. And called me forth. And I said, all right, God, there it is. You know, there's my Whoa. answer. And I committed. And then on the way up here, we were listening to the CDs of Bob and Charlotte. And you know, you can listen to those a thousand times. And each time comes forth a new revealing, a new yes. message, a deeper walk with the Lord within yes. them. Mm -hmm. You know, there's just so many layers in there. Mm -hmm. And we, be, we heard Charlotte talking between a couple of the songs. And she was talking about us going through this processing and becoming meat for the people. Yes. And you hear about everybody being on the milk and the, the bread, and, and then as we mature, we want to be on the meat, and you hear that in you know the sonship, and you hear that in Pentecost. But in this king, priest, Melchizedek, we are the actual meat. We are for the people to feed them, Amen. not just um, us being fed the meat of the word. Yes. We are the meat. Yes. 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 Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Uh, you know, it's the loss of our identity. Yes. Uh, if you're going to be bread, then you're going to be a wheat, grain of wheat. And that grain of wheat has an identity. It's distinct. It's individual. Amen. And by the time that that grain of wheat is uh, processed to become bread with other grains of wheat, Amen. there is no grain of wheat anymore. It has lost itself. Hallelujah. Yes. And it just is a part of the total thing. Amen. And that is what I believe that we are, are understand. We've understood that before, but I think that I, I've never felt a consecration. I'm telling you like I have felt tonight. Thank you, Jesus. I've never been here before. Thank you, Jesus. Where I'm at in the Lord right now. Thank you, God. And uh, it's, it's, a, it, it's like as though God has said, um, it's no longer you it's me thank you Jesus and I wrote a song on that I can't remember the title though um, it was for Father's Day I think um Um, to hear him say well done my heart's desire is for me not to be that kid that God has to keep slapping upside the head 
but that I would be a joy to the Lord. Yes. Yes. And um, yes. can't find the title. To not to eventually be a joy, an honor, a jewel in the eyes of the Lord. Something that would bring great uh, a thrill to God. You know, when the, when the one, uh, and again, I, I just can't remember things too much anymore, but the man, um, the man that told Jesus about his servant that was sick, and he says, Master, I, I'm a man of authority myself. Yes. And when I say to one, go, they go. When I say come, they come, because I'm a man of authority. And he said something to Jesus that astonished Jesus. He said, so you don't even have to come. Mm -hmm. To my house. <laughs> you just speak the word. Yes. Because you're a man of authority like I am. Yes. Speak the word and we'll be done. And the scripture said Jesus was astonished. Yes. I have not seen faith like this in all the land. This man literally had what they used to call, I don't know if they still call it or not. But in inventions where people have a, in the natural I'm talking about, there are some that are night thinkers, meaning that they can leap from one thing to another thing without having to connect all the dots. They can actually see something ahead of that and then fill in the dots. Mm -hmm. But they see the possibility of it. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes. That's what I'm feeling tonight. Thank you, God. I see something yes. just ahead of us here. Yes. Thank you, God. And God's connecting the pieces yes. together to get there. Yes. Hallelujah. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to sing that song because I can't find. Uh, are you looking, Russ? I guess I you are, am. aren't you? Easy as to. <laughs> I hate not to sing it. Um, it should be up uh, and shouldn't be too far into the book. I'm sorry for having to delay this. Hallelujah. lines well done my son I am pleased with thee would be the last line your spring is come at last 92 the winter sprung Pass. 
Our fields are full of flowers in full bloom. Our rivers all run free. Our tree, it begins. Your spring has come at last The winter's from us past I see the song in you, Jamie Your fields are full of flowers in full bloom You're beautiful our rivers all run free And your tree, it begins to leave Our nights grow short, our days grow long This is our springtime song all the seasons of your life, all the seasons have been coming uh, toward this moment in your life. And you're, you, the wind is changing, has changed, but it's even more so than when it first began. Where you're going to start seeing out of your own spirit things starting to grow out from that Amen. was there something said today about that about something springing up or mm -hmm. did you say that yeah the tree uh, I see a full bloom oh that's what it was yeah well that was for the healing uh, to bring the hammer up but for her I see a full bloom yeah, a tree growing fast. Uh, and, and a field Amen. full of flowers. Wow. Yeah. Seeds that God has planted in you all along their pathway. Yeah. And now they're ready to come forth. Thank you, Jesus. In all their beauty. Hallelujah. Wow. Jesus. I just see Jesus. beauty in your life right now. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and, uh, uh, and, and it just, I can see it in the spirit so real. Uh, all of the manifold glory of the Lord coming out of you, shining forth out of you. Hallelujah. And, and I want to sing this to you again. Hallelujah. It's a reality. It's a reality. Your spring has come at last. Oh my God. The wind Winter's from us back. Our fields are full of flowers in full bloom, full bloom. Oh, hallelujah. Your rivers all run free. And your trees. It begins to bleed. Your nights grow short and your days they grow long. This is your springtime song. Now I'll tell you, I see Charlotte. Standing right behind you. Because this was her song. And now it's your song. <laughs> oh, hallelujah.
your spring has come at last. The winter's from you pass. Your fields are full of flowers in full bloom. <laughs> Hallelujah. Your rivers all run free. <laughs> Oh, yes, Lord, your tree, it begins to lead. Your nights grow short, your days grow long. This is your springtime song. Faithful God, faithful God. Oh, hallelujah. Faithful and true. Oh, <laughs> took you took you that long to find it. <laughs> okay. All I need is those first words. Isn't that something? I was at the church. Uh, I'm a little emotional. I'll probably be crying a little bit here. But I was at the church on Father's Day. And my dad was an alcoholic. So I went there to sing. Well, I went there to be alone with him. And while I was sitting on the altar, this song just came out. And I realized I'm here for my heavenly father. Because I want to be all I was meant to be for my heavenly father. I want to be all I was meant to be. I want to be his love for all the world to see. I want to hear him say these words to me. Well done. My son, I am pleased with thee. I want to be all I was meant to be. Yes, Lord. I want to be his love for all this world to see. I want to hear him say these words. My son, I am pleased with thee. Sing it one more time. I want to be all I was meant to be. I 
want to be His love for all this world to see I want to hear Him say these words to me Thank you Father Well done my son I am pleased with thee oh praise his name praise your name praise your name praise your name hallelujah hallelujah You are our love, Lord, our love. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord. Obey the Lord, whoever. You know, there's one more thing in Judges chapter 7 about those 300. The earthen vessel had to be destroyed for the light to shine. And they, there wasn't no room for anything else. They had the trumpet, they had the earthen vessel, they had to break the earthen vessel for the light to shine. Yes, yes, yes. Amen, Lord. I think it's interesting they had to break it. You have to be willing to be broken. Yes. You have to willing, willingly crucify the flesh, break the earthen vessel yeah, so that Lord. the light can shine. Yeah, Lord. Take me and break me till I'm nothing. Then make me and mold me till I'm something. Yeah. 
take me Lord break me Till I'm nothing Nothing at all Then make me And mold me Till I'm something <laughs> Glory to God Then take me settled is there a word yet anybody have it I want to give you an opportunity whatever you feel in the Lord Father we thank you for your word yes. your spirit and your truth Lord that has been in our midst tonight thank you for this corporate man that when we gather together, Lord, there's only you. Yes. There's only one head, that's you. Yes. yes. And you're the one that we gather unto. Yes. Not unto man, not unto the ways of man. We just gather unto you, Lord. Yes. And may you continue to lead us and guide us. May we be continuing to be yielded and surrendered. Yes. And may, if you want us to come out of the box, may we do it with boldness yes. and excellence of spirit. Yes. May we stay guided by you with our ear leaned toward you, Lord. Unto all that are hearing us from the media of this service, I pray a great work has been done in their lives. Yes. I pray that they have joined with us, Lord, in this solemn occasion hallelujah this convocation under the lord this great consecration that has happened tonight may it be seen in your sons and your daughters lord in all of those that are called to the order of melchizedek Amen. i pray lord that you will help them and us to come together tomorrow morning to be able to join ourselves to you, Lord, yes. in a special way. Yes. I ask you that your anointing will be in this place. Yes. That like as Sheila said so profoundly, this is holy yes. ground. Yes. May all take off their shoes yes. before they enter therein. Yes. May we be caught up, yes. harpezoed yes. into our God. And may we be a yielded vessel. Yes. We thank you for it all, Lord. And to you be the honor and the glory and the praise throughout all the ages, world without end. Amen and amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Amen.